So we start off in sunny California and one of the most famous metropolises in the world, Los Angeles. As the City of Angels plays host to the Invitational Rhythmic Gymnastics Competition, the LA Lights Tournament of Champions. The inaugural tournament was held back in 1982 and has grown to be one of the largest multi-level rhythmic gymnastics events in the world, with many fantastic rhythmic gymnasts on site to show off their skills. U.S. national and Olympic coach Alice Svirsky is the founder of the LA Lights. To broaden rhythmic gymnastics in the U.S., Svirsky started the renowned Los Angeles School of Gymnastics more than 30 years ago. A former student of the school, Masha Krakowskaya, is now a coach herself for one of the gymnasts in the American junior team. She came with her parents from Ukraine and took up rhythmic gymnastics here when it was even more of an unknown sport. Not long ago, probably about I want to say in the late 70s or 80s, it came to the U.S. So compared to when it started in, in Europe, it's fairly new here. But um, yeah, it's, it's developing and not many people in the U.S. know about it at all. They know about football, soccer, baseball, artistic gymnastics, but rhythmic gymnastics is pretty much unknown. Eastern European gymnasts are still dominating the rhythmic gymnastics world. You just have to look at the all-around top 10 from the World Championships in Moscow last year to find that as many as seven athletes were from former Soviet republics. But having followed rhythmic gymnastics in the US, both as athlete and as coach, Masha Krakowskaya still sees some hope for the sport here. The sport is definitely growing in the US. Um, there's a lot of training camps that we're doing. We're developing our younger kids. Uh, hopefully, we will qualify to the Olympics this coming year. Um, our gymnast that should qualify, she was 23rd at the World Championships last year, and the top 24 qualify. So this World Championships, hopefully she'll qualify. But yeah, the sport is definitely growing. Uh, our girls are getting a lot stronger um, and definitely more competitive with Europe. Um, they are still a powerhouse, but I mean, baby steps, <laughs> we're getting there. One factor putting off younger gymnasts is the amount of training needed to become one of the best in the world. Like all elite sports, weeks, months, years are needed in the training hall to reach that top level. Rhythmic gymnastics is all about repetition, consistency, repetition, millions of times you have to do the same thing over and over and over again to get it perfect. So, but competition, you just, you can't learn anything new here. You just come, you get yourself ready, and you compete. In LA, Aria Rodley was the sole American national team member on site, coming in fifth in the all-around junior division. She's an up-and-coming junior who just might be a future Olympian for the US, but London 2012 may just be a little too soon. I'm a little bit young, because the year I become a senior is the year that the Olympics are, so it would be really, really difficult to do that. So if I want to go to the Olympics, I have much better chance in 2016, but then I'll be 20, so that's kind of a far, like, long way away. There were no American gymnasts in competition for the top spots in the senior division. As expected, it was the Eastern European girls that dominated proceedings, but we'll pick up on that later on in the show. Let's move on now as it's time for the best from the annual Olympic Gala in Belgium.